Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Domain Stadium for one of the highly anticipated and circled events of our 2016 calendar, two ex-AFL Warriors. Some say a little past their prime, battling it out here today in the sprinting race across the Oval. I'm joined, as always, by Ben Roberts, trackside. Ben, how does the form read with these two Warriors? Well, it's really exciting to be here, Thumper, because these two have been dancing around and toward each other for some time now. The chatter is at, it's at fever pitch, it must be said. They're both throwing shots across the bow. We're really looking forward to it. Very different racing styles, so a lot to look forward to. Well, plenty of opinions divided as to who's taking out the Chockeys today. We went off course and had a bit of a chat with their colleagues and a few teammates in the squad. It's going to be a close one, I think. Uh, I'm going to back in Big Dino. He's been running on the treadmill. Uh, it's not a pretty sight, but uh, <laughs> he's had it on the on the level 15. He's been running pretty well. So. Pat, hamstring in the first, what, 50 metres? That's my tip. Pretty hamstring, Coxie to win. I reckon Coxie might just get Pretty, considering Pretty broke down uh, yesterday, just handballing the ball. So. Although the chafe might be getting one getting Coxie, his legs are getting bigger and bigger. I do see Coxie running on the treadmill at times, so I'm leaning towards Coxie getting the job done. Everyone's been back in, back in Coxie, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Paddy. Coxie might need, you know, like the greyhounds have got the rabbits. He might need just someone running around with a burger in front of him, I think, just to get him over. Xavier Ellis with the starting gun. He's ready to get it underway. Remember, it's the first coach to do the lap and pick up the flag from the goal square, Benny. Let's hope there's no mishaps there. No, hopefully not. We've got a genuine good four here today at Domain Stadium. And both boys really like the firm going, so no excuses there. Runners ready. And they're off. Good start by both. Oh, it looks like Dean Co Is he setting himself for a two-lap race? He looks like he's going a little slow, but Pratt right out of the blocks hard. Physios, doctors, paramedics, they're all on standby, hoping not to get used, but you never know. You never know, of course. And uh, look, Daniel Pratt, we know he's coming with that back complaint, so they're keeping a close eye on that, no doubt. This is certainly the lonelier part of the track out here. Out of sight and sound on the onlookers. Probably this is the point where you start questioning, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, and Daniel Pratt loves to go out hard, and this is the point of the race where he really likes to break his opponents and pass them as early as possible to really let them know how far ahead he is. The breeze has really picked up here at Domain Stadium. Fortunately, won't push the runners off their track. They've really got solid frames post-footy to be running this race. Yeah, the earth's trembling a little bit as they run their way around the oval. And Daniel Pratt has crossed early. He leads at this stage of the race. The squad is really getting into it now, cheering, booing. They're doing all sorts. This is probably the motivation they need to keep a fit, healthy lifestyle post-footy. Absolutely, and there's a lot of money riding on this race. So boys talking through their kick, no doubt. It's hard to believe the 40,000 plus seat stadium is empty today with such an enthralling battle coming to its conclusion. Absolutely, the excitement is worth the admission price alone. We know Dean Cox is a strong finish, but here comes Daniel Pratt. He closes in, he's going to win this and he's got it. What a win for Daniel Pratt. Jeez, he's earned it. Going in with a cloud. That's a gutsy performance from the big fella. And he continues running down the wing, just giving the crowd a little bit of sweetener there. A little bit of salt in the wounds from Pratt there. Jeez, I don't think Dean Cox will like that very much. Ever in oh. doubt? Ever in doubt? I'll go for a run after this actually, so feeling pretty fresh. That is ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know why we did But the coach is happy. That just about does it here. Terrific day on course. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to the coaches for taking part. Benny, how will the ratings be for that race today? Oh, look, I'd, I'd love to say millions, possibly billions, potentially trillions of people would have watched today. A great contest. You've probably played it down a bit there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.